echo. Up. Echo up. Echo up. Echo up. Up. Echo up. Good boy. Hey. Dodger, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Can you speak? Dodger, speak. Come on, speak. 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 Are you hungry? Come on. Can you speak? Out here in that area I was pointing out trying to manage the sunlight with the clouds that are coming through it's kind of working luckily we got some good wind it's a little scary over here all right let's go down the gully here is that a lizard or a Chipmunk. Okay, go get. Get. And we are pretty far from camp. This looks like the end of the line. I picked up a little bit of trash. But check this out. This is kind of creepy. Mr. Frank's microchip. So that's the dog's name, but there's no phone number. This thing has been out here for a while. Actually, probably a really long time. You can see by the rust. I guess I can try looking this number up. I'm sure some of you all will too. It's kind of sad. Echo, leave it. Echo's eating cow dung out here. I have him on his leash. Just in case, because there are cows out here. Uh, I haven't seen any deer. I saw a jackrabbit though. He didn't see that luckily Once I get that shocker though if I see the if I see a jackrabbit then I'm not sure should I <laughs> Should I use a jackrabbit to train him or should I only do that, you know, like shock him or buzz him? When it's a, a deer or a cow or something hooved Let me know what you think now this collar, it you know, it looks pretty old, so it makes me think the dog is not around anymore. I kind of think like, sometimes people bury their dogs out here when their dogs pass on. So maybe the dog like got buried and then something dug it up and that's all that's left is the, the collar. That's kind of all I can think of, I don't. I mean, I guess the other thing is the dog could have got lost out here and then died. And then you just end up finding the collar. But with my dogs, you know, I put my phone number on their tags. They do have microchip chips, of course. Um, but and Mr. Echo has multiple tags on him, multiple collars. Dodger only has the one collar, but he does have two tags. He's got more than two tags on him. So the idea is if a tag falls off, then there's a backup tag. The phone number is really the best way, I feel like, for someone to get a hold of your dog. 
It's pouring down here. The rain's coming in under the awning. The Dodger doesn't like it. He wants to go inside. <laughs> I'm going to put them inside. I think I got to roll the awning up too because it's getting a little windy. And I can't even really be under here anyway without it, without me getting wet. It's really funny because I'm online right now trying to figure out how to get out of here because of the heat. But right now it's cold. It's actually really cold. Echo, echo. This is a nice break from the heat. We were just hiking around out here and it was like full sun and Dodger, he couldn't stand on the ground. He had to run into the shade. That was like 30 minutes ago. But now, I gotta pull this awning in, which is fine, but I got my generator out. I don't want it to get soaked. So I gotta stash it somewhere before I can pull the awning in. Overall, this is awesome, but I'm about to get soaked. I think this is a good sign. Cause seriously, I was just online, I was looking at all these RV parks because I'm looking at 95 to a little bit over 100 degrees weather that we're gonna be hitting. And I'm really trying to head north. I wanna get out of this area. This specific site that we're at is working out so nice though. So the motivation to leave is kinda, of, it's kinda of iffy. It's really just because I know the temperature is gonna keep rising over time. So we have to get out of here. And I wanna get uh, up into the Northwest. The weather in this particular spot is perfect and that's why I picked it. It's turning out to be even better than I could have imagined because we've been getting a lot of clouds, a lot of a lot of rain actually, and a pretty constant breeze. It's been getting up to like, not, I think one day it was like 92 or something like that, but under the trailer it's nice. There's a nice breathe, breeze. The dogs are really pretty comfortable under there. And I don't want to stay in an RV park so I was kind of looking at campsites that were near a creek, you know, north north of where we are, like a couple hundred miles. I don't, also don't want to drive too far, but we have a couple big cities to pass before I can get to more like decent camping. But by that time, we're going to be in Idaho and Idaho is even hotter. So it's just funny that I'm dealing with this right now. Like I got my shirt back on. Now I'm pretty soaked. And what I did is I took the generator and I put the generator under the trailer, there was actually some room under there. I could, I could stash it, which worked out good. I had to unlock it first and that's how I had to really get out into the rain. Then bringing in the awning when it's windy is, it can be a disaster, but you have to think it's better to do it when it's starting to get windy rather than wait for it to be really, really windy because then it's gonna be so hard to put it in and you're absolutely gonna have to put it in at that point or else it's gonna get torn to shreds, it gets slammed into your trailer and you're gonna get all kinds of damage. But doing it as one person, you're like trying to hold down one side. So that's what I just did. <laughs> and you get pretty soaked doing it too when there's a lot of rain. But overall, it's like, you know, it's pretty, I'm pretty happy about the rain. One thing is that mud out there happens really quick. I mean, it's just caked onto my shoes. I started slipping and sliding and that's a good reminder that even if the mud doesn't get deep it's not a good time to drive because you're not going to have any traction out there a little update for everybody i did our first live stream a live q a on youtube uh, last night and I'll put a link to it down below in the description. You can find it on our channel page. And I answered like as many questions as I could. It went on for like an hour and a half. And it man, it was actually really fun. There, there were a lot of people watching and they asked really cool questions. And so I felt like I, I answered so many of the common questions. So if you have questions about Nomad Life, then watch that video. And if you don't get them answered, then you can wait for the next live stream and uh, I'll answer them then. That was actually pretty fun. Echo, back to camp, back to camp. Echo really wants this leg. He was just carrying it in his mouth. He set it down though on his own. He knows he's not supposed to eat this stuff. Oh. 
I just woke up. It's 4 26 in the morning. We're heading out, so I want to get an early start. The sun's not up. My dogs are not going to get up for another hour or so while I putz around. Let's look at Mr. Echo. Hi, Echo. can do this so why are we up so early because we're hitting the road oh yeah it's still dark out <laughs> Oh, you can't see anything out here. The stars are still out. But we need to beat the heat. That's why I'm up so early. I want to get some driving done today. We're driving through Utah, and then eventually we'll be in Idaho, where it's going to be 100 degrees. Oh. And I usually camp in Idaho, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think we're going to be staying in an RV park. And in fact, tonight, today, hopefully, before it gets into the upper 90s in Utah, we're going to be at another RV park. And it's kind of a... Not your typical RV park. I reserved it online already. And it was like $54. Which is a rare thing for us. If we do stay in an RV park, uh, like you saw a video where we stayed at Hassler's RV Park in Quartzsite while I was getting the truck repaired. That's kind of the thing that we use the RV park for is for sort of, you know, emergency situations. It's out of the ordinary for me and the dogs. And you know, the dogs don't really dig the RV parks that much and they're not my favorite thing either, but they're actually kind of cool. And they're kind of useful. They can be kind of helpful. So that's what we're using it for today. Since it's going to be so hot, we need to plug in. So I have air conditioning. Usually, the generator runs the air conditioning, but I just haven't been able to get it functioning. I've been testing testing it out here, and it just won't power up. I'm not sure if I have shown this yet. I can't remember. But this is my new bug zapper. It might seem insignificant to you, but this thing works. So I had it on all night. Because bugs do get in here. You know, they come in through the screens or little holes or whatever. And the little tiny bugs are the worst. But to have that thing on all night, it doesn't make noise when it zaps the bug, so it doesn't keep me up or anything. It's so nice. Because I used to spend so long every night, if there, if there were bugs, some nights you camp and there's no bugs, but often you'll find 20, 30, 40 bugs up here. Some places you go, depending on the weather and exactly your location, I mean, there could be like 300 bugs flying around, just those little tiny ones, and I'm just smashing them for like 10 or 15 minutes to get every single last one. So this bug zapper does that for me. It's, it's super amazing. I picked that up at Walmart. It was like 15 bucks. I definitely recommend it. And they do have these on Amazon too, which I think they're about the same price. They're probably the same. They probably function exactly the same. There's a light on the bottom if you want to use the light, which I never use. And this thing, it stays charged for about two nights. 
which is pretty awesome. I mean, all night, like I'm sleeping while it's on. So it runs about, so it must run like that for about 16 hours. Luckily, I found this spot where we're at right now, where we've had, you've seen the rain, the clouds, the wind, and pretty decent temperatures. It's basically been in the upper 80s, low 90s here with clouds and wind and rain. So it's been super livable. I don't even want to leave. Like right now, it's kind of cool this morning. But I do want to head north because eventually it's going to be so hot, we're not going to be able to travel at all. So being in the north, like Oregon, Washington, is going to give us cooler temperatures. I know a lot of you that are nomads are already up there <laughs> because you have better timing than I do. I kind of kind of got a little bit delayed getting the truck repaired and then I've just been taking my time because I love to camp. I love to be at these places and I stay sometimes kind of a long time, you know, sometimes I'll stay a week or two because I just, I love it when I find a cool place to camp and I'd, rather be camping than driving now today since we're going to do 280 miles that's a lot for me usually i'll do 80 miles maybe 120 miles in a day that's about my maximum is about 120 maybe 150 miles so we're going to do basically double that today and we're going to stop at costco we're going to stop at a gas station where we're going to get water we're also going to dump the tanks then we're going to go to Costco. I'm going to get my pizza for lunch, which I'm, that's like my reward. I'm excited about that. And we'll also get gas at the Costco because it's a little bit cheaper. I'm also going to get groceries because I'm pretty low on groceries. And then we got about 80 miles to go from there to our RV park site. So it's a little different for the Got Out channel today. So stay tuned, keep watching, and you'll see where we end up. So it's going to be a road day today. See you on the road. <laughs> Come on, Dodger. We got to get on the road. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. You gonna stretch? Stretch. Stretch. Yeah. Good boy. One thing I got to do in the morning is I got to get the generator packed up. Which basically just means putting it in the bed of the truck. But since I'm hitched up to the trailer, I can't put the tailgate down. And that means I have to lift up the generator and shove it in here. It weighs about, you know, 40 pounds. So it's awkward. There we go. The reason I can't put the tailgate down is because I have, what is this thing called? The jack. <laughs> and this is an electronic jack, which is really awesome. You just flip the switch and it goes up and down, but it sticks out. So the tailgate can't come down all the way. Some people will mount the jack sideways, but for whatever reason, I couldn't do it on, on this setup. Now I gotta feed these guys. <laughs>
Are you hungry? Are you hungry too? Dodger, come here. Take a seat. Dodger, are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> yeah. Come here. Come here. Dodger, take a seat. Dodger, speak. Speak. Woo! Oh, good boy. Yes. Echo, sit, 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 paw. Echo, paw. Yes. I had spares. <laughs> Just a last minute headlamp change there. I was like, I don't I don't need them. It's daylight now. You know, the sun is just about to come up over the mountain over there. So I don't really need the headlights, but I just figured I'd do it. It only took me five minutes, so that's good. This place has been awesome. I freaking love it here. I planned the weather so perfectly for us. Because where we're heading right now, it's gonna be almost 100 degrees. And that's why we're gonna be at an RV park. Before I get back on the main road, back to civilization, check all my tires just to see if they're a little bit low. Just in case I picked up a nail or something, maybe I can catch that mistake right now. Got my, my blinds, I still gotta fix that. I also check the doors, make sure that's locked. Check all my hatches, make sure my steps are up. And an important part is to check the hitch. This case, I didn't never unhitched, so it's probably fine, but I still will double check it and check all the tires on the truck. Just a quick check before I get back on the road. You always see me doing the dummy check before I get back on the main the main pavement basically. I use that as a reminder. Hey, you're getting on the pavement, double check everything before you hit the road. And we are out of here.